All right, everybody, we're back. My next guest co-stars on the hit Fox series 24. Please welcome Mary Lynn Rice Cub. Fantastic. Yeah. I like to dress up. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm out. I'm I out. like it when you dress up. Uh, thanks for being here. And so much to talk about. First of all, you, since I saw you lost, you had a baby. Congratulations. I did. Thank Good you for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, what, uh, <laughs> it's hard to have a baby. They, they are, they're slow to applaud new human life, but you mentioned <laughs> Thursday and they go crazy. It's You created. Ex exit it's my the body. only miracle <laughs> that really exists in our, and these guys with their priorities. Um, what's the adjustment like? Talk to me. Uh, how are you doing? How's how's the baby world going for you? Let's talk about it. Um, it's a it's a pretty big adjustment. It's, yeah. I you know I have I went from primarily text dating where you don't really have to talk to the person like hey talk to you later to now I have dogs and. A baby mm -hmm. and a baby daddy. You have a baby daddy, yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, what what kind of baby do you have? And I don't mean the sex of the baby. I mean there are babies that sleep and are easy. There are difficult babies. There are it's this is the gamut. What kind of baby did you get? Well, you know when <laughs> he, he's a pretty cool guy. He's a he's good cool. guy. He's cool. He's laid back. But when he's not, he cries and cries and cries. And sometimes there's nothing you can do. You know, it's like I fed you. I, your diaper's clean, I sang to you, and sometimes, I didn't know what to do one time, so I just set him down and crawled under a table and called the police. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I was like, I exactly. hello, police, he's in the house, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> he's nine weeks old, come quick. Yeah, it gets really bad, it gets bad. Well, you sound, uh, you sound a little stressed. How do you relax? Is there anything you do for yourself? They tell new moms, do something for yourself. Yes, they do tell you to take some me time. So I signed up for a meditation class, mm -hmm. but I got kicked out. <laughs> Who gets kicked out of a meditation class? It's not even Hold possible. on. T here's what happened. Tell me. <laughs> I know. Hold on, man. Listen, man. Tell me if you think this is fair. I think I'm in the right on this one. Okay. Okay, there's like a meditation guru. You wait for her to come in. Everyone's sitting real close, like in the lotus position, waiting. And this guy next to me stretches out takes off his shoes, gets a snack out of his bag, and I'm like, just smelling something like, is that cheese or is it your feet? Like, already, like, my zen is knocked off. And right. then he starts going, oh, oh, oh. And like, his relaxing is making me very not relaxed. Sure, he's so invading your area, your he's zone. He's up in my space, so. I got so angry that I took off my shirt and I pressed up against him and I was like, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. And he was like, what the F are you doing? And I Yeah, was, what the F were you doing? How, <laughs> how is that a response? <laughs> what, are you, what like, was that? Look, this is how I relax. Oh, I see. You were getting up all in his business. Yeah. Why did you have to take your shirt off first? Is Maybe that what you're that's doing? that's relaxing to me. <laughs> that's what you do when guys annoy you? Because if it is... Blah, 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 um, <laughs> kicked out for a different reason than I thought. Uh, what about, let's talk about other things. I was just uh, with Mr. Stewart. We were talking about the new world that we're in. Are you excited about our new president? I'm pretty excited about this new hope, and <laughs> I really... You sound like a prisoner reading a script. No! I am excited about new hope. Listen, listen, I want, I want Obama's spell to work on me. And if that means going to 7-Eleven, I'm serious. I went to 7-Eleven, I bought the travel cup with his, I'm yelling all of a sudden. I bought it with his face on it. There's a travel cup with his face on it and you bought it at 7-Eleven? That shows a real commitment. I'm gonna do what it takes. And also, I was at the airport security uh -huh. and I was like, take my hair gel, take my toothpaste, I'll do what it takes to make this country safe. And nice, good for you. In fact, I've brought extras for everyone. <laughs> But then um, that lady, she came at me with a wand, and she actually said this to me. She goes, are there any sensitive areas on your body? <laughs> we all know, you know, sometimes I take my shirt off in meditations class, yeah, yeah. but that was 
it all happened so fast and she was getting closer and I was like, is this a trick question? Like, is she for real? And right, so right. I just blurted out, my boobies and my vagina are very sensitive. You yelled out in the airport? I got like strip search. <laughs> that I wanted. I was, hmm. And the guru walked by, yeah. Uh, you're always really fun to talk to. 24 airs Monday nights at 9 p.m. on Fox. Mary Lynn, thanks so much for coming here. Thanks for having me. You're a fantastic me. guest. Mary Lynn Rice, come everybody right back. Comedian Mike Bodiglis here. Stick around.